Hello and welcome to the week six and seven Strictly Sock Along video. Uh, sorry it's been a couple of weeks again. I have been up to my eyeballs in doing Vlogtober. It's now the 2nd of November, so that is now behind me and I've got a bit of time to film. If you don't know, the Strictly Sock Along is an annual make along where we knit or crochet socks during the season of Strictly Come Dancing, otherwise known elsewhere in the world as Dancing with the Stars. However, the biggest thing about it is you're encouraged to come up with cunning ways to cheat. So a lot of people join in, even if they don't watch the programmes, even if they don't like the programmes, even if they don't even have a television. If you can think of really good ways why you're allowed to join in and you can prove it, then you're in. <laughs> uh, and for that reason, it's a lot of fun and very, very silly. And there are a lot of prizes and the uh, revenue from all of these Strictly videos from uh, the beginning of the Sock Along in September until the end of January 2022 will be donated to Crohn's and Colitis UK, which is a charity working towards uh, research and helping people um, with uh, inflammatory bowel disease such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis being something I had my whole adult life until 2012 when I had surgery. Is there anything else to say? Uh, lots of prizes from lots of lovely makers. There are a few prize categories. I'm going to draw an, uh, a couple more prizes today because we're past the Halloween show and that is one of the categories. Uh, people are encouraged to cheat, so I'm gonna um, tell you some of my favorite cheats of the last couple of weeks. I've chosen them from the Ravelry group this time because I did Instagram the last couple of times. And I've got a couple of prizes that I'm coming to show you and I've finished another pair of Strictly socks. So I just wanted to also say last vlog for the week's four to five vlog, I drew some prizes. I've heard from everybody except for the lady Candy Patch Design on Instagram who had won a pattern. Now, um, I will probably just drop you a message actually uh, to let you know, Carrie, that you've won uh, a pattern prize from lovely Lindsay at Stitch sock witchery stitch witchery sock witchery that's it so if you watch this get in touch with me but i'll probably just send you a message in case and yeah so i'll show you my finished socks so i finished another pair i was a bit waylaid with my knitting because i've been doing vlogtober over on my other channel which is this little wonderful life if you're interested i do lots of vlog content over there where i sort of talk about my daily life um what's going on with my crafting, knitting, uh, other things going on, what I think about the change in season, and just it's just like a little nosy into daily life really. So I've just finished Vlogtober, which is where you release a little video every single day. So as you can imagine, that's a lot of filming and editing. And where I would normally be knitting, I was editing, which I love, it's another form of creativity, but it's nice to be back to, to knitting. So um, I finished, these this morning. Well, I'd finished one of them quite a while ago, but I finally kitchened the toe on the second one this morning. Oh, it's still got, oh, how apt. Look, it's still got its stitch marker on. And look at the stitch marker. It's a grinable. <laughs> I haven't blocked these yet. I literally just stuck them on the um, blockers. So these fabulous things are knit using the official Strictly, Song, Strictly Sock Along yarn this year, which is by Elderflower Stitches. And it's called Sockly Come Dancing. And it's knit up beautifully. I really want to knit a pair just plain because look at how that's come out on the heel. It's really lovely. And it works so well with this pattern and this gorgeous pattern that you can see, this lovely textured pattern, is the Cronkled Socks. Let's see if I can, there you go. The Cronkled Socks by Kay Jones, who is one half of the Bakery Bears. Lovely Kay, and I've loved knitting this pattern. I thought I would find it a bit confusing. It's not that it's a, it's not a hard pattern at all, just for my mind, but I didn't at all. I absolutely loved it. And I actually knit, knitted them a bit longer in the leg than I would do normally because I got a bit carried away. So I'm really, really pleased with these. I did the patterns umbrella toe, which um, I really like actually. It, it looks really effective and it fits my foot well. And if I knit them on 56 stitches, if I knit them again, I would probably knit them on 60 or 64. Uh, it might be because it's a ribbed pattern, so it's a bit more sucky in. Also, I think my gauge has changed 
where I've been knitting more and more, I think my gauge has tightened up. I've always been quite a loose knitter. Um, so that could be it as well. So, But they fit me great and I love them. Really pleased with those. So I'm going to um, pop away my lovely bag that they were living in. This lovely Charleston bag, um, which was a lovely gift. And also I've got one of these as a prize from Sarah Jo Makes. So I'm going to empty it out. I've got this much left of the yarn. I haven't weighed it. Um, but I, I mean, looking at it, I'd say I've probably got just under 50 grams, maybe about 45. That's a guess. So I might get a pair of shorty socks out of that, might I? Watch this space. So I'm going to pop this away and I'm going to move on to my other Strictly um, sock along bag, which is this beautiful one. I had one of these as a prize, but that's now gone out to Cheryl. Cheryl, I have emailed you this morning to let you know it will be on its way this week. Um, so I've got this lovely bag. This is by Julie of So Unique, who's also been doing Vlogtober. And she donated this and a number of other of her gorgeous bags um, as prizes. And inside here for my next pair of Strictly socks, I have got the amazing um, Wool is the Answer Strictly colourway for this year. That's their label. It's called Fabulous 21. There we are. And it comes all ready and caked up and it looks beautiful I, and it's sparkly. So I can't wait to get stuck into this. And the fact that it's all ready caked for me, I can just shove it in the bag and start knitting. So I've just got to work out what pattern I want to do. I've already cast on late, after, the day after Halloween. I'll just grab them. I cast on some Halloween socks. Hang on. So I've got my Halloween bag on the go. I absolutely love this. It's by Craft, Mon Craft Munger Law. I think I said it wrong last time. And I've got my lovely um, Toadstool House art badge on here. Um, I actually bought it from her in her other shop. Um, she's Toadstool House, it's Adele. She's Toadstool House Art now, but previously she was Adele's Art. And I think that shop is still up on Etsy, Adele's Art. And I think she does still sell these um, uh, nightmare before Christmas badges so and they mean a lot to us because uh, we had nightmare before Christmas theme at our wedding when we got married in November 2003 so I've cast on some um, uh, words Halloween socks using some yarn I dyed ages ago and not very well and it's been balled up in a very tight ball for far too long so it's about time I use them. There's nothing to show you other than a bit of rib and I think I'm just going to do ribbed socks. I don't know, this is nothing to do with Strictly. I've gone into podcast mode, haven't I? But look at that, they're so cool. I thought that was perfect for a little Halloween theme and look at my little stitch mark, it's so cute. Anyway, I'm going to shut up about those because that's nothing to do with Strictly at all. Let's tell you about the new prizes that I've got um, that have arrived. So lovely Dawn, who is Dawn's Days here on YouTube, she sent um, a bag and some yarn. So she sent two bags and I'm really struggling to choose. I think I know which one I'm going to go for because she said I could keep one and the other one's a prize and they're lovely. So I've got one with stalks, there's her um, little label there, beautiful. And then oh, it's such lovely fabric. And it's lined in this lovely kind of beigey, creamy colour. And then the other one is this beautiful bee fabric. So I was thinking I might just let the winner choose when I draw the winner. Um, but I am also slightly drawn towards the stalk one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave them for a while and try to decide. But one of these is going to be a prize for Strictly Sock Along. She also sent lots of yarn. And she's, she's dyed this herself and it's so beautiful. So I've got Harley's Last Hurrah, that's her label. And that's Harley's Last Hurrah. So that's gonna go into the Strictly prize pool. I will put that with the bag from Dawn because it's so matchy matchy with either of those bags. And then there's this beautiful one called A New Dawn comes with a beautiful little bee stitch marker you can just see there that's so pretty just like a sunrise and then this beautiful one is called antique rose and again it's got her little bee stitch marker focus there we go and i love this one the colors in this one 
I'm tempted to keep this one. She said I could use the yarn for whatever I wanted. And the moment I saw this one, I was a bit like, ooh, I might have to keep that one. So I've got at least two skeins of her beautiful yarn, possibly three as prizes for Strictly Sock Along. She also popped in a commercial one, which I'm quite excited about. It's a Lee's Comfort Socks and it's self patterns like that. And it's in these colors. I find self patterning um, yarn quite exciting. Hmm. So thank you, Dawn. So thank you so much for donating those as prizes. That was so kind of you. And as ever, thank you to everyone that donates such generous prizes to the Strictly Sock Along. It's, it's like a huge part of what makes it such a fun event at the end of the year with so many opportunities to win prizes. I am going to give a couple of prizes away this episode. And then after that, there were two prize categories left. One is made it to Blackpool which is difficult this year because there is no Blackpool show in Strictly Come Dancing in the UK this year because they can't get together at the Tower Ballroom. So I'm probably going to do it in Made It To Muse... Uh, I'm probably going to do it in Musicals Week. Like when, if you've got a finished object in the finished ob object thread on Ravelry by the end of the weekend of the Musicals Weekend, which will probably be towards the end of November, um, then I will pick a winner at random from there. But I don't know the dates yet. I was Googling it and I can't find anything. So I'll keep you posted. And then at the end, all the other prizes go out randomly and I draw random winners from the chatter thread, the FO thread, the Instagram hashtag. So make sure you're using that. And also the comments underneath these videos, any of the Strictly um, Sock Along vlog videos. I'm gonna draw winners at random from all four of those places. And there'll be some winners uh, for rule bending as well so if you are being really really cunning and breaking the rules and cheating <laughs> make sure you tell me because I will pick my favourite few and you will get prizes as well okay the other prize that's come in this week is so beautifully wrapped that I don't want to open it so I'm going to put some pictures up on the screen it's from lovely Conchetta she has donated something every year and this is the fifth year of the Strictly Sock Along so she's been with, with us right from the beginning and sort of really invested in it um, and I'm so grateful. So she's donated one of her gorgeous bags. I've got one very similar to this already. I use it a lot. It's one of my most favourite sock bags. This is bigger than a sock bag. You could use it for socks or I would say shawl or even a small cardigan or sweater I would say. It's a really lovely bag. So thank you Conchetta for sending that and that will go into the prize pool as well. I think that's all the prizes I've had incoming. So let me tell you about some of my favourite cheats of the week. So this time I chose my uh, some of the more recent favourite cheats from Ravelry. I think I did it from Instagram last time. And there were three that really made me giggle when I was looking through it over the last couple of weeks. The first one was from Camp Sinanji. Um, and she was she's knitting a lovely pair of mountain socks in opal fresh fruned which I googled and I'm pretty sure means cheeky friends <laughs> and she's knitting them because she was uh, no so her cheat was that she was inspired by the fox trotting across the path in front of her while she was out on a walk the fox trotting I just it was so non it, it just made me laugh it made me laugh well done the other one that really I really liked was needles nifty she is doing her own design and she's done, I'll put a picture up, she's done her own design and there's two little dancers on in the sock that she's just made up. It's so cute. I loved that. Um, yeah, really well done on that. I can't believe you made that design up. And then finally, Swims Upstream <laughs> managed to work in a clogging element to her socks. She was working on a long languishing existing work in progress. So that was, you know, first of all, breaking the rules. But she can get away with it because she lives in Appalachia where clogging is a thing and she owns clogs and will probably do some clog dancing. And when she finished those socks, she put a picture up of the socks with her wearing her clogs. I mean, that's pretty brilliant. In fact, I think that one has to win a prize. I'm gonna get my pen. So I'm gonna give you a pattern prize. Oh no, should we just random, like, let's just go and like give out an actual physical prize for cheating right now because I feel like it. Okay, let's give some yarn away. Let's give this one away because this was so beautiful. And you live in Appalachia. So this is, okay, 
here's a connection for you. You live in Appalachia. When I was doing my Vlogtober, there was a song that I really loved and I used it quite a lot in my videos. It's called Golden Things by Kylie somebody. It's a lovely song. And the first line is it is Appalachian Sunrise. And this is called New Dawn. So, swims upstream, you have won this beautiful skein of yarn from Dawn's Days for your fabulous cheating and incorporating clogs into that and the Appalachia connection to my Vlogtober. It couldn't get any more um, tenuous than that, can it? So get in touch with me via email. My email's underneath in the description box. Give me your address and I will get that posted out to you. I'm just gonna write down that you've won that. Okay, and well done to all of the other amazing cheating that I'm seeing on Instagram, when you're talking in the comments. Um, some of you have even emailed me and on the Ravelry threads, it is hilarious to read through. Like the girls, my, my daughters and I, and my husband Dan, we quite frequently sit down and I'll read them out to them and they all just giggle. They, they love the cheating element of the sock along. They really look forward to it. So keep doing it. It's entertaining us <laughs> and it's just, so much fun and you might win prizes at the end as well uh yeah so those are my favorite cheats of the week is there anything else i need to say uh oh i need to draw prizes don't i so it was halloween week which is one of the categories for prizes so if you had a finished object in the finished object thread I said by midnight on the day of the show, which was the 30th of October, but I actually let it go until midnight on Halloween because I figured that was a bit more fair. So there were 181 finished objects in there, um, which is amazing because we're only at the end of October um, by the end of Halloween. And I asked our friend, our artificial intelligence friend, whose name, whose name cannot be mentioned, in case it sets everybody else's off. Um, and she drew number nine, and that is Nicola 98. And she, I'll put a picture up, is making, she made her first ever Strictly Socks. So it's the first time she's joined in. So you have won, Nicola. I've left it upstairs, one second. I left it upstairs, but actually it didn't really matter because I've wrapped it all up, ready to go. <laughs> So I'm going to have to put a picture up. So in here you have got the lovely um, hand stitched Strictly Sock Along bag by Gemma Asprey Designs. There's been a limited amount of these available this year and she gave me one as a prize as well. And just to mention as well, everything that Gemma is selling in her folksy shop from for the duration of the Sock Along I think it is, um, she is donating 10% of all of her profits to Crohn's and Colitis UK, which is utterly amazing. Also, she, she was doing Vlogtober and any Kofi donations she, she received during Vlogtober, she's also donating to Crohn's and Colitis UK. So that's incredibly generous of her. So you've got one of the bags, which you'll be seeing on the screen, along with the Elderflower Stitches official yarn, which you've just seen in my finished Strictly Shocks. You've got a skein of that as well, which um, I bought to contribute to the prize parcel. So that's gonna go out to you, Nicola. If you could just email me with your address, I'll get that sent to you wherever you are. Your Ravelry doesn't tell me where you are. You could be anywhere. Maybe you're next door. No, my next door neighbor's not called Nicola. You're, next, you're not next door. <laughs> so well done. And thank you to the, to, uh, thank you so much to Gemma for donating the bag. Words. I decided to draw a couple of pattern prizes as well. So I uh, went back in and I drew uh, another number and it, uh, from the chatter thread. It pulled out number 637, who is bar, 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 <laughs> which is a username that's come up before. And um, Angie, I'm pretty sure that's you. I'm pretty sure that's Angie Leonard. I'm sure that's you. Um, so you don't need to get in touch because obviously I've got your Ravelry now. Oh no, you do because You've won a sock witchery pattern from Lovely Lindsay and you can choose any of her sock patterns. So if you could get in touch with me, either on email or via Ravelry and let me know which of her sock patterns you would like, I can then tell her to send that to you via Ravelry. So thank you, Lindsay, for donating those prizes and well done, Angie, for winning. And I then thought I would do, uh, I would give away another pattern prize. So Becky Norman, who is Bex, Becky Norman Designs, she uh, has donated... Um, a few sock patterns as well. And she's donated uh, a couple of sets of her Schitt's Creek 
um, sets of patterns. There's four patterns in each set, and that is S C H I double T. By the way, I'm talking about the television show, um, and I thought I'd draw a winner from Instagram. So I'm just going to go into the Instagram hashtag now. God, I've got every, oh, I've got so many WhatsApp things like coming up on my screen. Is anyone else like in a million WhatsApp groups for everything to do with school and? like brownies and guides and every other imaginable reason to be in a whatsapp group and it just goes on and on and on okay i've got into the hashtag and i've got it up on my screen in order um and i'm what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just scroll all the way down as far as i can and then i'm gonna scroll up and down with my eyes closed until I don't know where the screen is and then I'm going to click one. Did it work? No, it just says, oh yeah, no. No, it didn't work. Let's try it again. No. No. There we go. Right, <laughs> I got one. Susan Knitter 2. Uh, you have knit these lovely mercury socks. There we are. That's your Mercury socks. You've won the Shits Creek Pattern Prize, which has got four lovely sock patterns in it. If you could get in touch with me via Instagram or um, drop me an email or any of the places where I am, and I will arrange for that pattern to be sent to you um, to your Ravelry or via email from Becky. So thank you everyone for joining in. Well done to the Pattern Prize winners, and thank you to everyone that donated a prize. I think it's time for me to stop jabbering on. Oh, I should probably talk about the show and who my favourites are as well. There's been a lot of tens so far in the UK Strictly Come Dancing and it's been amazing. The standard has been so good and it just feels much more like Strictly again because last year it felt very strange being in lockdown and yeah, it's just been fantastic. We've lost one couple because, and he was lovely Robert Webb, uh, comedian Robert Webb because he had heart problems, I think. I'm not entirely sure. That's what Dan told me, my husband, because he listens to the Strictly podcast even. Um, so he gives me all those like little bits of gossip. Uh, so that was a shame that he went, because I liked him. He was good fun. Uh, the show that just went um, on Saturday night for Halloween, uh, of course, Dan Walker dressed up as a lobster. And I had so many messages on Instagram. It was so funny. It was just, it was brilliant that they dressed up as lobsters. We, we couldn't believe it because we were like, it's like my perfect scenario. I love lobsters. I have lobsters on mugs, on artwork in my bathroom I love them and there they were on Strictly which I also love it was like just a meeting of worlds <laughs> so that was really good we enjoyed them and um my favorites at the moment I would say are probably John and Johannes I know a lot of people feel the same way because they are just so good uh, Rose and Giovanni I think are excellent and they're just such a lovely partnership they're just lovely together uh they seem like such nice people, you know, and I just love that she's deaf and that teaches us quite a lot. We've learnt, been learning sign language <laughs> from what she's doing, so the girls have really enjoyed that. And um, who else do we like? We like Reese and Nancy. I think they're, I think they're ones to watch, actually, Reese and Nancy. Um, yeah, I like them. And who else? Did I write anyone down to mention? No, but I did write down Craig Ten. That's why I've got my 10 paddle out. Craig actually awarded a 10. And that very rarely happens. I think that was for Rose and Giovanni. So anyway, this means nothing to you if you don't watch the UK Strictly Come Dancing. But those are my, that's my two, what do you call it? Two pence worth. That's my two pence worth. That's my pennies worth. No, my two pence. I don't know. I shouldn't try to say these sayings but that's my opinion on what's going on on Strictly UK and I hope you're having a lovely week and hopefully I'll be able to do these weekly again now that I'm not vlogging or at least for November because then I'll be doing vlogmas <laughs> but I'll keep trying and I'm loving the Strictly Sock Along still I'm loving seeing all of your entries and yeah uh, keep cheating I just realized you'd probably be disappointed if uh, we didn't involve the chickens in the Strictly uh, Sock Along vlog. So I thought we'd go and see this time what they think of the my new, the next yarn that I'm gonna be using. Well, it's really bright, isn't it? 
<laughs> but the uh, the yarn I was just talking about by Wool is the Answer in the fabulous 21 colorway. So let's go and see what the chickens think of it, shall we? Hi girls. What do you think of this yarn? Cloud, do you not like it? Oh. Piggy. Piggy. Peggy, what do you think? 